Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. Hold on. Oh, we might just have to call it a night. Oh, wait, nope, it's going. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on. Last time this this new uh, SD card is very uncooperative. Hmm. We've already had to restart the podcast. Wait, like we just restarted? Yeah, we just restarted. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) We just, again, don't have drops this week. Making me really sad. Do you drops other mean things. when it's like, damn, slut? Yes. Well, I just talking? nailed it. I can yeah, do you, it. Yeah. You really did. <laughs> it takes me like five minutes to put them on, too. I just didn't have, I'd had time to, I just kept forgetting. If and, you poke my belly like the Pillsbury Doughboy, I'll just make the noise. But I'll okay. make some up. The <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I don't want to reach over there, though. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, guys, late night pod. Welcome to Yes Offense. Um, been doing these really off the cuff lately, just out of sheer scheduling shittiness. So I, I thought apologize. it was going a different way. I thought he was going to say due to like sheer depression or something. No, that factors <laughs> into it. That factors into me not booking people in advance or just, you know, not wanting to book the people I would usually book because I hate them. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I can't I fluctuate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, looked, I looked recently at my old like pe- Alex chose the two most non-confrontational yeah, that's people because I, I can just talk this shit you guys probably, will just sit there and take it that are probably autistic just to sit here and stop yeah. going, <laughs> that's right and it could be you guys I could turn on you guys any second and if you did we would both cry and shiver you in the corner it, yeah. and you would feel terrible eventually yeah well no I, I just I looked at my old roster of people i would hit up and i was like man i don't hit up four of these people anymore at all and uh it is what it is i don't need you to tell me that i wasn't on the roster you weren't around you weren't (laughs) you didn't even do stand up when we this podcast was started (laughs) oh yeah no anyway guys welcome to yes offense i'm here with returning guests mike masaro and lila sparks we're siblings we're both brown we're like the two brown kids in ruth's adopted house (laughs) how it should be so your mom ruth yeah ruth is the famous ruth what do you mean you know what's so funny i love mix this hot chocolate good (laughs) (laughs) maybe that's why matt divorced me Uh, (laughs) just kidding i divorced him um yeah no i was looking at it when i was stirring it and i did straight up see big clumps of powder and i tried to mush them into the side of the cup yep. <laughs> you, you just you keep that, stirring you don't yeah <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i just thought dirt was in my mouth I was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah but even so it'd be flavorful dirt so you'd still get the hot chocolate taste it would just be like a little all gritty. dirt is flavorful dirt it's just <laughs> yeah. not a good flavor yeah. says you <laughs> You guys if you are, lower your standards, any taste can be a good taste. Are you guys? Either, I don't know. Well, are you in? You're not Indian, right? <laughs> Native American. You're not Native. You're not Native American, right? Okay. First of all, <laughs> actually, I, can't I think tell I'm you are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it called Native American? But if it's not America, so technically, I'm from Bolivia. Uh, but where I was born in Cochabamba, in the mountains, um, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So it's I, like a club. Yeah. <laughs> or like a, a, a wacky Chick fil A sauce. <laughs> Cochabamba. No, but I'm, apparently I'm Quechuan, which is oh. like, I guess a bunch of us got murdered at some point by other Indians or something. Indigenous, so. right? Is that yeah. The, is that the term? Yeah. Or, uh, or what do they call them in Canada? First peoples? You know, it was fucked up in history class. They showed us a documentary about Quechuan people and about how a bunch of them were buried alive. Mm. And then every white person in my class turned around and pointed at me. It was like, just like you. And it was really weird. And then they showed what we would have looked like. And it was just some woman running through the, I think like hunting or something, running through the forest. And she didn't have like a top on. And like her boobs were saggy, and then again they all turned around and like just like, and I was like, I want to go home Damn. right fucking now. <laughs> Got you, dude. Please just bury me alive. Stop. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, um, you're right though. Mine has a hello. Like I did not. Yeah, you're not this good. This, <laughs> I, I this is means mine. for di- like it is <laughs> See, means Mike, for divorce. Mike does it right. He doesn't have any standards. He's like, I'm just happy to have. Well, that's why Mike's yeah. the, the, the way he is. That's, that's why he is. That's why I'm wearing a tie. He's yes. the Fucking only mid- one. <laughs> midnight. <laughs> He is the only one in like a long lasting healthy relationship because he does what he's supposed to do. He's like, I just accept what I'm given and that's about it. Yeah, well, she runs his shit. You should see. Yeah. <laughs> you should see. Get, well, I don't say he's a name, golden but. retriever boy. <laughs> like, you're so happy. I'm, 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 I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> How convincing. I'm, 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 uh, 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 I'm happy. <laughs> I have a nicotine addiction. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's the opium. I'm going to say opium. It's like he glitched. I'm coming up on 10 years. What? I'm pretty sure I'm coming up on 10 years with cigarettes. With cigarettes? Yeah. Most people say the opposite, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) You said that. Yeah. (laughs) Delightful. Yeah, they're happy. I thought you were going to say sober or something. You're like, no. (laughs) On cigarettes. Yeah, it's great. I'm I'm really annoyed with the amount of comedians who say they're sober and then immediately are like, but I still have a drink every once in a while and smoke weed. And I'm like, that doesn't. Just because you stopped being a heroin addict isn't does not yeah. mean you're sober. You guys, I wasn't kidding. Speaking of like sober and stuff, I wasn't kidding about the erectile dysfunction. There's oh. hella alcoholics. Like, yeah, most people are like, isn't it hard to have sex with them because they don't get hard? There's literally the opposite kind. This one guy can have sex for like five hours straight, mm. and it's great. And I never know. Like, does it bother him that he can't finish? I assume so, but he's still. He's still going five for hours. It. It's got to be frustrating at five Dude, hours. I got there. No, no, no. Like- I got there at two a.m. <laughs> I didn't go home till like four p.m. And like the whole time, on and off, on and off, it was fantastic. It's too, oh. old, yeah. it's too much. Are you kidding? Well, I've had on s- and off, on and off is fine. Like, yeah. I, th- I thought you were talking like no. It's I- like a forty-five minute span. Then I have to go and get a snack. Then we go again. Forty-five minute span again. Then I want to watch some TV. Yeah, that's fine with break. That obviously is fine with breaks. I, no, I've done that. I just um, like all at all you are at sitting once. So weird. By I know. The way. All at once though. <laughs> like, what's the longest you've done? Like no break. Like just like a long time. I have to be on some like good good drugs for that. Nah, bro. I just need weed. But I've no, gone. No. No. If you turn off all the lights, you got a good mixture of some stuff going. Can you not sniff the microphone like that? Take your nose off. It's my off of it. microphone. <laughs> <laughs> he like it uh, it like smushed into it. But no, you get like a good combo of some like shenanigans going and turn off the lights. It really felt like I was like rolling all over like the ceilings, the wall. It was fantastic. Nice. Are you on? Yeah. Mushrooms. <laughs> oh, maybe some shrooms. Maybe my friend Molly came over. Mm. Uh, and then yeah. sometimes I like I to tear up actually. pieces Threesome. of mac. Threesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you tear up pieces of paper for no reason, obviously. Mm, yeah. Mm. I've. <laughs> I, I remember I went to a party when I was like a freshman in high school and it was like the only party I'd been to that year and I was like I want to look cool so I like I was Just like I, I was like I don't smoke weed I don't drink I don't do anything I'm gonna pretend to do acid so <laughs> I, like, I, I cut up mean? I cut up some paper into small little pieces and I just put it in my hoodie pocket. And then when I thought someone was looking at me, I would just put it in my mouth. But I didn't realize how acid works, so I did this like nine or ten times. <laughs> someone called the cops. He's like, so dude, man, I just watched him take nine tabs of acid. He didn't even react. <laughs> Mike, is that real? real man, story. you're going to be freaking out, man. <laughs> and, and the best part of that story... Is it the person whose party it was? It wasn't even like a cool high school party. I knew them from church. It was like <laughs> it was like a birthday party. <laughs> Damn, dude. You know, That's, that you is seen, lame. Have you seen all those things? That's like whatever happened to the kid? They must be thinking about you. Like, did he die? Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's a lawyer now. That's troublesome. You know, none of those kids are lawyers. Not one. Uh, <laughs> you know what I feel good about? We're going to keep on the lawyer and success. I love, okay, so we're at my mom's in West Hotford. Um, I love that all the hoity toity kids that, like, I was. I was in the crowd enough to party with them, but like low ranking enough where like it was still not really wanted there. But anyways, that's a different story. But um, 
all these fucking kids that thought they were the shit, half of them are alcoholics now. And yeah. you know how I know? Because I got one of those letters where they have to say sorry and acknowledge <laughs> other shit. <laughs> and I've gotten, I think I've got nine of them. Holy and you know shit. what? what yeah, nine. Dude, I was bullied. So fucking, but no, I think I, was supposed, I think I was supposed to be gracious and say, I forgive you. No, I'm petty as shit. Uh, I've been waiting I'm for that so as well. fucking petty. And I was like, I don't give a shit. You're a horrible person. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. I have a few people I'm waiting for that. It was for. never the booze. It's who you are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I am a demon. I would say, like, but do you guys remember that movie, Harriet the Spy? Did you guys ever see that? It sounds familiar, but I don't think I watched it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she got, and at the end, when she. She tries finally to gets her own. Men's. She No, no, no. She um she gets bullied and bullied and bullied. And then she finds this girl's notebook. And it, like it's like the bully girl's notebook. So finally, this girl bullies her one more time. And she's like, that's why your parents don't love you. And they got divorced. And everyone's like, hey. <laughs> Harriet, that's so mean. That's the shit I would do. Like yeah. someone would finally like push me, and like in theory, I'm, I have every right to say it, but I just say like the worst shit too. And it's not even mean. I will never call you fat, but I will say like the I've most insecure fat. thing. <laughs> call people <laughs> fat Swing for the fence. I told. I went off on a chicken height. Now I, I want to preface this with defense. I, pre- Alex just doesn't like fat people. If you've listened to this podcast before, he yeah. shames them. I, I don't not <laughs> like fat people. I don't like fat people who act like. Being fat is something to be rewarded in this day and age. It infuriates me, and I also think it is unhealthy. So you should just, at least if you're taking steps to be healthy, that's one thing. But if you're a fat person who's like, I love being fat, I'm like, I don't believe you, and uh, <laughs> you're a liar. Um, <laughs> Do you want them to apologize for me? Fat? No, I just, dude, it's just other countries. <laughs> yes, he does. Other con- dude, other countries, they that shit is not, like, it, we always look to other countries as, like, more culturally a, a fit or whatever and it's like they don't appreciate fat people at all <laughs> fuck that that's shit that's because they don't have our level of prosperity Sally yeah. that's true and I, hey they don't have we our rule because of that and I, don't get me wrong I like a, a chick <laughs> I, who I don't like a skinny bitch <laughs> by any means <laughs> But the health problems that come with it can't be denied, and people are straight up denying that. I like we said health problems as I had like the flemmiest noise into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're coughing up your your cocoa grounds. <laughs> no, um, so I'm not a good house. No, the chick in high school we were dating. Um, she got she started coming at me. What's up, dude? She started coming at me on fucking. Um, messenger and we were arguing about something and she was just coming at me hard did not know but i found out later (laughs) because i talked to the girl who actually did it like her friend started typing for her and was just being mean so it wasn't that is that is in fact a thing we do sometimes because she didn't want to be as I, i don't know why but the other girl was like ready to go off on me so she started going off on me and i was like I'm warned. I, like I warned her numerous <laughs> no. times, and I said, "I swear this, to were God." Were you pubescent? Because I like the idea of you being like, "I'm warning you." No, no, no. But I was, I, I was a late bloomer. And then so he this said, is like you'll maybe see your life. Yeah, yeah. This was, this was a, this, this was a origin. Story. This was yeah, a, right. this wasn't a you'll see, you'll see. This was a stop or else, and people don't or listen. Else. Oh my God. This could actually transfer to the thing we were talking about before the podcast where I tell someone not to do something, they do it, and I react, and they're like, oh, you hurt me, and it's like, no, you shouldn't have done what you did, because now I'm reacting, you piece of shit. Think about it, listeners. You all know. Think think about it. Think think about it. (laughs) You guys remember the Flight of the Concords? Let me finish my story. This is called a this is called a hard pivot. <laughs> I never watched Flight of the Concords. The kids Are you serious? In, kids in my yeah, high school who listened to it, watched it, were dorks at the time, and and fuck. Listen, with it. Alex, I feel like you would have been my bully, and here we are in my house. I'm gonna poison your I fucking hot chocolate. L- <laughs> I mean, you already technically have. <laughs> I'm not drinking the rest. Of it. <laughs> Took one sip, and I'm done. I'll drink it if you're not going. I was gonna say you have, if I mean, you waste just, no, my no. mom's reduced I, fat. If you hot give me a chocolate. spoon, I'll fucking sp- <laughs> I'll mix it better. It's fucking terribly mixed. Use live a cereal spoon. Oh yeah. Oh all right. Enough of your gay at what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using a cereal thing you used earlier today. Here, she, actually, I'll flip it upside down. She just used it like, like oh, five just minutes now? ago. Yeah. I'm still flipping it wow, upside down. Wow, you care enough that you're gonna flip it upside I do. down? I'm offended. Anyway. I told this girl, you better calm down because I'm, I'm I'm very offended <laughs> at what you're saying I to me. I feel like you didn't say that. I didn't say offended. Yeah. <laughs> I said, though, 
hey, I you need Felix to stop. I choked her out, but Yo, metaphorically. But this is the thing. This is my warning. I said, you need to stop or I am going to ruin your day. I like, thought it was going to be a different R word for a second. And no. I was like, oh my God. And she, she, went, she t- went even further. And I just, I, I wrote, Two sentences to her. He made a burn she, book yeah. like me. She had a mental break. She had a mental breakdown. Book. I'm not even gonna say what I said because it's genuinely not mean. what did you say? He wrote in the it, yearbook. She, let's just put it this way: she had an eating disorder, and I <laughs> let her know she had an eating disorder, <laughs> and I exacerbated her eating disorder. <laughs> Which one was it? Which kind? Oh, she thought she was fat when she wasn't. She had like looked in the mirror and was like, oh. <laughs> "Honestly, though, if you were gonna have one, that's the one to go." She I was have so the hot opposite. too. Shout out to the chick if she ever hears it. Like for all her credit, she looked great, and she didn't deserve the insult. But dude, um, I her wish friend I- shouldn't have been a piece of shit. And push the bear. I don't fuck around. Don't make me feel bad. I will never <laughs> forgive you. <laughs> That's actually the most true thing that he's ever said on this. Um, Real that was talk. startling. No, I'll, I'll, I'll forgive, I forgive certain things, just not at all Damn, out betrayal. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Man. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, yeah. So don't fuck with me, man. I don't. It, if I say, this is the biggest thing with me. If I tell you, don't do this. And then in the next few minutes you do that, I'm like, what? I just I want you, you to know, warning, Alex, that right? I don't like authority, and I will immediately do that every time. I know, but it's <laughs> it, I don't yes. it's I only get that way when I really don't feel like I deserve the thing that's coming to me. So I'll be like, you need to calm down and stop. Wait, you are you saying if forward, I do anything, no, you're like, no, but no, I'll people, know that I deserve it, so no, you can do it, Lila. No, no. <laughs> no, no. No, if I give you a war- I'm all about a warning. Like I if I tell you, yo, I'm not cool with this and then you cross that line, it's like why that's on you at that point to me. Especially if it's something where it's like you really don't have to do this. It's like it's something you could easily avoid and just not do and not, you know, af- affect my life because mm. it doesn't affect your life either and people choose to step over. Hey, was, was, I, dude, I've stepped over numerous. I've had numerous times I've said shit at open mics where people come up to me and are like, "I didn't really like that," and I apologize. I don't care. That's I, I apologize for that. But you know that person didn't warn me in advance, so when they warn me after, you know, it is what it is. Real, real talk. talk, yeah, real talk. <laughs> <laughs> I have no you problem. You are off key, yeah. Alex. Um, <laughs> keep that shit to yourself. Do you have a problem admitting you're wrong? Oh, <laughs> it depends. Internally, I know when I'm wrong. Externally, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> no, I no, feel no, no, like no, 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 just, no. It really depends. It depends. Like it depends to me on if you're worth it enough to me to address it. Mm. And I feel like that sounds weird, but like I'll know. Okay, I probably shouldn't do X, Y, Z in the future, or I don't want to make someone feel like that. But if I don't value enough as a person, then I'm like, well, I'm going to cut my losses. It is what it is. I've learned my lesson. For other more deserving people, mm. okay. It, it depends. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll apologize. Or I, I I'll admit I'm wrong if I'm wrong. Especially I don't. I actually don't mind being wrong because then I can learn. But if he just I, has to yell at you first and then he'll admit. No, sometimes I hey. It's, again, sometimes people <laughs> say shit that gets me mad. You're in and I yell. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, some people can't apparently deal with doing fucked up shit and not getting you know can I just you, moving can i tell you guys something interesting that here's another pivot coming see that blanket thing you're sitting on uh, for an audio podcast what oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you guys know the poncho bit that i have that matt was like put on this poncho that's no, the poncho. poncho you did that oh, for shit. a podcast son of a bitch <laughs> Is that like an, on one of your reels, that bit or anything? Can we reference it so people know the bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the other comics listening, <laughs> go see Lila at the whenever. That's for later at the end, and then I'll tell you where I'm going to be. But you can stick around. Oh, well, yes. It, but that's not a poncho, it's a blanket. No, 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 no. It's from Mexico or something, oh, and if you open it this. up, it has a hole to put your face oh, on your head. Yeah, okay. All right, pick it up. No. Why not? I'm sitting because I oh, yeah, it is it. not a, it's it's an audio not, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding, though. The background story for the people that don't get. So. I'll, I'll fucking. I'll strangle you. That was just coincidence, I swear. 
Mm. Um, okay, so like one of the last times Matt and I were together, um, my mom gave us all these ponchos. She like made it some weird thing that we could all choose a poncho, whatever. I at the time was not very girly. I only wore sweatpants. I really gave up, really did. Um, and I put it on, and Matt said that was like the sexiest thing he's seen me in in years, and that it seemed like a dress. That is not form fitting at all. <laughs> um, and you could only see my ass, and that was enough for him, and it makes sense now. But yes, because he's, he's gay. gay. Yeah, Lila, Lila married a gay guy. It's hilarious. Owned. Wait, you were saying before that you were like indigenous, right? Yes. And uh, maybe he just likes you in the poncho because it's like <laughs> there's some sort of like squaw more, fetish going is on. Is it more racist that Matt wanted me to wear that, or the fact that my mom gave that to me and my brother as Christmas <laughs> presents? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a coin toss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The amount of times that she would like dress us like that when I was little, <laughs> like none of the white kids had to wear shit like that unless your culture was like Ralph Lauren or whatever, but yeah, still. Nah. Dude, I um I dressed up as and this is the costume store's fault. I dressed up as a uh, a Mexican one year. Yeah, what does that mean? Straight up the 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 costume at the costume store was a poncho, a mustache and a sombrero. <laughs> Racist. So when you say that they messed up what? It sounds like you just bought a Mexican <laughs> yeah. costume. I did. It was because sold in the store. Couldn't find I couldn't find <laughs> shit else to wear. I swear to God, that like. So this was the point. I was dating a chick at the time, where I was like, I need to wear something where I can like, get, like it's yeah. not not attract. It's not not too much, but it's also like Nixon enough mask. where yeah, I can smoke a joint in this and like go fuck. <laughs> like, I don't want to in the poncho. No, yeah. Well, you can just ponchos. pull it off. Wow, ponchos are working out for everyone. Yeah, you can just then. pull it up or pull it off. But totally worked out, and this is all made up because there's no photos of it. <laughs> so <laughs> it can suck my dick. Try to cancel me. You'll never find that girl either. <laughs> she will. She's dead, and he buried yeah. her. Yeah. You ever you ever looked back <laughs> yeah. on like the like I like this chick. When I dated her, when we stopped dating, it was like a real problem, like in my head, where I was like, I'll never move on. And then yep. you date like five of the same women, and you're like, wow. <laughs> like you look back and you're like, is- if only I had known she was one of these types of women or people, even <laughs> when you're just like, if I had known then, I would have never cared. You know what I mean? Does that I make sense? Say, Sluts is what I'm talking about. This I gotta is- yeah. say no. Never? You've never dated the same person like 10 times and I then have, realized? And that's why I keep doing what it. A lo- she's a loser, guys. <laughs> Hasn't figured it out yet. <laughs> you haven't figured it out that it's it sucks? Those I, people suck? Uh, I do, but then there's like that little part of me that's like, I could I could turn this around for all of us. I could change. I'm gonna them. find one that works. Yeah. <laughs> I promise. I keep being like, one of these addicts will be able to do their shit but in enough way where it's still fun for all of us but they're not like dying you know yeah it's so not. that's that's where <laughs> <laughs> that's where i would like to thrive the fact that you, you set your houses. bar at addict is <laughs> insane <laughs> The bar okay, is added. I don't legitimately like look for that. It doesn't like I don't notice it at first. I guess. Mm. What type of addict are we talking? You have to like, like, because may- maybe you're doing the wrong type of addict. So I was gonna say. So like, typically, I would prefer. Like, I feel like a coke addict kind of is a little bit more fun, or like I don't notice what, it as what much. A dumb sh- shorter span of time that 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 stays okay though. True, true, true. Because I haven't, I haven't like cool. long term dated like a coquette or anything. Coke Mainly, ages you too. <laughs> yeah, coquettes can't long term do anything. There's no like, there's no long term. I know a few chicks who have um who have gone real hard into the blow and. I am waiting. I am waiting for that turn. Let me tell you, it's coming. I don't know if they're in their thirties. It I happens. Don't know Shout I've, out to cokehead girls. <laughs> Why well, I, I don't know if I've lasted around like long enough around someone that had like a full problem. Like usually, it's like a short term thing. Then I move on. Mainly, I find myself with alcoholics because I think it's almost easier to not see right away as the issue, and then even I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But the, it, I'm like, it's the life I of mean, the party. Well, I'm technically on paper a drug addict. Like, yeah, know, I'm not what? ashamed of it either. Like on paper, you are. Yeah, I smoke weed constantly. Like, it's a plant. Like, yeah, but if you've ever been to so a, is opium, yeah. So, <laughs> is, well, yeah, you do realize if you have a beer 
once a day, every day you're an alcoholic, like on pa- like on paper, I mean, like anyone listening to, if you don't know that, go to any rehab center and ask them a few questions and you'll be shocked. Yeah. Sorry, dude. <laughs> well, good thing I don't like beer. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm yeah. just like people literally walk around like, oh, I'm doing great. And it's like, no, you're probably still a drug addict or an alcoholic. And honestly, that that's kind of normal for like nowadays. I mean, that's fucked up, but it's true. It's like if you talk to anyone, most people do something often mm-hmm. or every other time. It's, it's I don't really, you know, whatever. Other people Cigarettes, successful coffee. people do that shit too yeah like i don't know i don't um water i don't look at it as a weakness it's just a part of the human condition <laughs> food <Mike's> like, <laughs> getting real <laughs> yeah i'm getting real um food is a hard one though because like in theory like you need that well not in theory i was in, kidding in no, that, food, that's real actually that, that one's actually that really tricky yeah. is. like that it's one's true. so hard yeah. yeah that one's genuinely tricky but it's also um you know what you need um in your life if you're kind of I, I genuinely think this, but this is just how my mind works, and I know everyone else isn't like this. I think you need someone in your life if you're gaining weight to tell you you're gaining weight. Like I know that's like to some people they don't want to hear that, and then you just ignore that person. Yo, that's you saying, just yeah, drive they, yeah. to McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, I mean, it's, no, it has to be someone that loves you. It can't be just yeah. a random person. Because yo, I've I was gaining weight for a long time after I got arrested, and I like I lived with my mom, and if she didn't tell me, I can't imagine every, you chubby. This is the thing, because my mom, every time, because I lived with her, she'd see me, like, you know, out and about, or just different variations. And she was like, ugh, disgusting. Yeah, literally, like, she'd see me come yeah. out of the bathroom, like, towel around my waist, and, like, walking through the house, and she'd be like, uh, wow, you're, uh, you're not, you're really putting on those pounds, huh? And I'd be like, the fuck? And I, like, <laughs> at first ignored it, but it, it, she was right, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like... And, and that shit's like, I'm sorry, but if like, I don't know, if you can't actually accept someone's honest take on what's reality, I, and then that offends you, it's like, you can do something about it. I'm not trying to shit on the fats, yeah. it seems like that. <laughs> no, dude, my dad was fat. Like, I, I've had, you know, I'm, I'm, I just don't, it's not for, I've, I've gained weight and lost a lot of weight. I don't fuck with it. I've also dated fat people. I think I have a pretty unique... <laughs> I have a pretty unique take on this. I've dated someone who had fucking weight loss surgery, and uh, yeah, I don't have to go into all that, but that, you know, I also think in order to do that, you should be more mentally sound than, you know, it is what it is. Moral of the story is fatties take a walk. That's yeah. what, <laughs> that's, that's oh, what we're trying to say. Oh, man. It's, yeah. I also, <laughs> I don't know, man. Fatties take a walk. <laughs> It is, dude. No, but I do agree in terms of like it, it depends. It depends. No, because it depends on who. Like I no, because you know, Chris and I were just talking about this. Like I, I forget the way he Chris said Warren it. known uh, homosexual. Sorry, I, don't know. I was trying to think of something else. Known homosexual, Chris. No, Warren. but he was saying like like we were kind of talking about how like light bullying to an extent can be healthy in terms of like if someone's saying the same thing over and over. Oh, and light like, bull. Okay, I thought you said light boying, and I was trying to figure out what that was. Boying. Light bullying. <laughs> you send one boy in, yeah. and you send another boy in 10 well, minutes no, later, and another boy another 10 minutes after that. One of the, the roast- usual, sir. <laughs> another boy. One of the roast battles that I did, every single fucking person, like, cause it wasn't just a roast battle, it was also like the roast of, so like the whole panel gets to say something, and every single person says something about me being fat, and like, I'm not gonna say I'm a skinny mini, but I was like really like that <laughs> much and then i like went i had to like sit in my car i was like god damn i gotta change something so you guys i am down 18 pounds so thank you for the That's bullying no, for and, like, <laughs> i'm not gonna lie as someone who would have who, who would look for that and roast you i would not have roasted you over that just because i'm more clever than those people on that dais because i remember that r- roster and uh yeah I'm calling shots. Every single one, though. <laughs> and I was like... Taking shots at all of you right now. I literally went over in my head, like, what would be coming, like, gay husband. Okay, that's obvious. I was like, maybe, like, saggy boobs? No one said that, but everyone was like, huge. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> See, as someone who genuinely would love to make fun of certain um, female comedians for their uh, looks, I, I avoid that. <laughs> <laughs> Often. See, I'm, like, curious. I'm like, what would mine be? But also, I'll cry, so... 
don't do it. Actually. Yeah, you're just a dumb, stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the looks yet, dude. Have bad choice in men. <laughs> I like how we're also surrounded by pictures of Lila as a child. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just like I look. Not, I'm. Am I, I not the most was... adorable little fucking cherub? I'm a cutie. You do look like very a boy. Cute. Yeah, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you do look like Dora. That was. A, yeah, I was gonna say. You look just like Dora. <laughs> I really do. Audio podcast. And if you said someone looks like a boy, that's that my brother. Well, that's, I know that's your brother. I figured that one is your brother. Right, this audio podcast, guys. You like guys? Uh, DM us. Let us know if you like the the um, talking about stuff that you can't see at all. Yeah, we'll I'm see. sure you really do. <laughs> if you DM maybe, Sally, he'll send you all the pictures. We'll no, take your oh, maybe photos. maybe we make the album cover just my child face. Maybe that's what we should do. <laughs> my <laughs> child face, and then you two, and it'll just look like a really, really bad porno. Yeah, no, that's not good. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I don't want anyone saying, "Hey, Mike and Tomazelli <laughs> were doing a po- parody porn of Lila Sparks' child picture." <laughs> Dora, of Dora, of a real life Dora. <laughs> she just yeah. Who you did? You have a boots to your Dora. What does that mean? The fucking the monkey. monkey. That fucking I actually never really watched that Gay show. ass monkey. He's like, my boots. He did that weird wolf Was head? he gay? What was he that? He wasn't gay. My I boots. Just, I just like to call him a fucking <laughs> Stop <laughs> talking about things Sorry. that people can't fucking see. <laughs> Talk about a wolf head that's randomly in here that we can't reference. People don't care about the wolf head. <laughs> <laughs> I care about the wolf I head. care too. I wanted to. I wish we, know, we might have to hold the wolf head in the picture. <laughs> people can see the wolf. It's eclectic here. Yeah, you got a good bookshelf too. Yeah. Not you can also me. Just take I the picture read, in front but... of this. <laughs> Do you ever see Eight Crazy Nights? <gasps> crazy Nights. The, um, Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. Adam Sandler, he jumps his, dumps his fries in front of Whitey, and they spell out "Eat Me," and Whitey looks at him and looks at him and goes, "Chokes on you, tough guy. I can't read." <laughs> <laughs> Gets me every t- <laughs> but he, he looks like after he says that he shuts his eyes goes, and like Ooh. yet like holds his face up like he's proud and it's like he, like he won <laughs> he's proud he can't read that shit, I think oh. that's just me insulting anyone that's the shit I do <laughs> jokes on you I can't read <laughs> oh that shit shout out to Adam Sandler hell yeah didn't he just have like a show around here yeah, he did. My cousins went to it, and they only came to one of my shows one time. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everyone, by the way, who came to the show uh, this Saturday. Shout out to Ray, uh, Raymond DeVeet. I hope I said your name right, bro. I'm, I can't, I can't, <laughs> can't take it back. <laughs> he's, he's white, but his last name is spelled like... It, it sounds like stri- he was Indian. Exactly. So, <laughs> shout out to my boy, Ray. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize. But uh, I think I said it. I think I said it right. Anyway. What were the other buttons? We got damn slots. We got real talk. What were the other ones? Uh, uh, and blacks. I got news for you. Yeah. <laughs> it means you get <laughs> And then these blacks. <laughs> Livia Soprano. Shout out to yeah. that fucking broad, dude. Rest so in it, peace. So what's up, guys? You guys happy with how your lives are going? <laughs> It's had, dark after midnight. I had a doctor's appointment today. I had a gyno appointment. And because I'm afraid of like the doctor in every form, I had to take like a Klonopin and a Xanax. And I felt great today, honestly. And okay. <laughs> you Are we going to gloss over that? What? We're going to gloss over it, right? You don't want us to ask you why you were at the gyno? What? Because we have oh, I to go. You had the drug use. I don't. <laughs> Doc, there's something in there, and it's. I think it's alive. Ew. I think it's, I think it's hungry. Ew. It's like, I, it's like teeth. It's the movie Teeth. Oh, sort of. oh actually, uh, my dad took me to see that movie. Really? Yeah. Wild. We saw it at Real Artways. Shout out to Real Artways in Hartford. Go support them. Your dad brought you to that. Yeah, we went to all like the different horror movies and stuff. Solid. I was uh, interesting. It's like not related really, but my grandfather, who's you know, ni- is like getting to his nineties, like told my mom to let me know that he watched that movie and enjoyed it. And he was like, "I think Alex would have seen this movie." <laughs> he was right. <laughs> I've seen the movie. It's a great movie, and he really liked the ending. And for an old man, I was like. You're very like 
he's he's actually not progressive, like not in a bad way. He just says things from like back in the day. Like he'd refer to you both of you maybe as like colored or something. You know what I mean? Like, he might. And he wouldn't mean it in a bad Hell way. Yeah. He just doesn't understand that that's mean. And even if you explained it to him, he'd be like, what? Because well, in a way, it is naming that we uh, have pigment. So, yeah. you know, reframing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty interesting. He explains the NBA that way. And he's like, hey, colored guys can really run. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. Jesus, man. The That's fuck? why this is called yes offense. Yeah, no. Hey, it's just what ha- it's what he does. He, what he, you Go try to cancel him. <laughs> you know, find out who that man is. You'll never find him. Um, but he lo- really liked teeth, and I thought it was interesting because you'd think an older man watching that movie would be like teeth in a girl's pussy. What's this country coming to? And just changing the channel. Like back in my day, we used to watch Frankenstein, and he just it was in black and white, and it was not a hundred minutes long, and that was it. For some reason, there was one girl in the movie. She drowned, and that's how women were treated back then. And that's right. If a girl was with a strange man, she drowned. It was a lesson. <laughs> she, she, she. <laughs> guys, remember the scene in Frankenstein throws the little girl in the lake? I've actually see never seen float. Frankenstein. Get your yeah. cinema up, whore. Get my cinema yeah, up? Yeah. That, That's the best one you have? I didn't think that <laughs> sentence be out at all. I am. Yourself. I am. And I got news for you. <laughs> yeah. um, wait, what was the thing? What were you about to say? Was it a thing? What were we just saying? Oh, I, I was saying that like when when you said the second time around that your grandfather liked teeth, I forgot that we were talking about the movie I Teeth. Also, movie I teeth. I like, oh, like teeth. teeth. Yeah. I was like, no, you just movie. collect people's teeth? What the, <laughs> the movie about vagina did not. <laughs> yeah. I also just, was like, he, he lacked teeth. He would just comment about the races and collect human teeth. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, these are teeth. Coolest these are grandpa different. ever. Yeah. <laughs> I got sets of all the teeth of all the different kinds of people up on the wall. <laughs> it's like American Beauty, but instead of plates, it's just teeth. And he's like, and this one's from Germany. Lifts up, turns the tooth over. It's just got a swastika on the back. Uh, he's like, these are the age 14 molars of a Slav. If you look at the other side. <laughs> you notice this is a Jews. It's got gold in his teeth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, Kanye subject. West, you have warped my mind. <laughs> Real tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kanye West for really putting that magnifying glass on the. You guys, I was <laughs> on the I cabal. Was, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was listening to Kanye West the other day at work, and then because so I live in like very semi. Well, in I the was room. I was in I was in Northampton. So I, uh, at first I was opening by myself, and then someone else came in. I like quickly turned it off because I was like, <laughs> <gasps> I can't have oh. someone know. <laughs> I was listening to Kanye at my desk in my cubicle the other day, but I played that one that I thought about killing you one. You guys know that one? No. The one that's, no. It's just him. It, it's uh, it's off the album, yay. And, and <laughs> it's just, he goes, today I thought about killing you. Premeditated murder. And then the, the whole song I like he's listening to this in a law office. It, yeah, just like on full volume. Just at my, like anyone could hear it. And he's like, and uh, you know, I, w- what's the line? He's like, I, th- uh, I think about killing myself and I love myself way more than I love you. So you best believe I thought about killing you today. Hell yeah. <laughs> and, and I every man has had that premeditated song. murder. It's so fucking good. You should listen to that song tonight or whenever you hear this. I, no, I'm not gonna tonight. No, I was saying. Okay. Uh, no, okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm in the zone. I was talking to the listeners, Sally. <laughs> I don't oh. even know why he had to say, you know what? I don't think I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the referral, but no thank yeah. you. I, I, I'm gonna say no. Anyway, I just want yeah, I could sit in that silence, God. Oh man, yeah. Um, something about saying no it had to do with consent, and there was nothing funny about it, so I just abandoned that thought. That's one of those things that we call inside, inside thoughts. <laughs> what inside thoughts in my head? Um, yeah. I don't believe. I believe it. My my lady friend was telling me that recently. She's like, you don't have to say everything you think. And I was just explaining to her something I was explaining to someone else, but I was being very overly zealous about it. And she's not wrong, but I feel like I should be able to talk to the people I know and be honest with them about stuff. 
I don't like yeah. the snow context. I'm not really understanding. I was talking. <laughs> Yo, this is really out of theme. I was talking. I was talking to her. I was like, "Yeah, I have a fat friend, and I call him fat sometimes to Goes his back face." To fat. <laughs> but, but like, they've been on the pod. Everyone knows who the fuck this is. It's not a big deal. But she was like, "Yeah, you don't have to tell people that." I was like, "No, but like, it's not. I'm not trying to be rude. It's just. It's like I've." joked about it and the person's like yeah joke about it don't hold back so i don't hold back or thanks for sharing just kidding i just wanted to make a new button <laughs> no a new button for thanks for sharing yeah that's not ever gonna happen lila don't ever you know what <laughs> stay in your lane you're talking about doing Get a podcast out of my house. what would your drops be on your podcast <laughs> fantastic ones <laughs> Don't be fucking silent right now. I will fucking punch both I'm of you guys. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what I would put as a drop on a podcast. I think I would put like random verses from like the Bible and the Quran. I hate you. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think that would be fun. Just That'd like out of context shit. I have more drops I want to add. They just, uh, I need more buttons. I need a board. Buttons. I need it all. Because I-, I have more ones from the Sopranos I just want to use. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. There's just a bunch of shit they say <laughs> in that show. It's just, you press the button, it'll be so funny. Get that egg salad out of his mouth. <laughs> I would that? use that one. That one when the dude dies yeah. of the... <laughs> Car- uh, Carmine? C- C- Carmine's dying. He just like he starts having like a stroke or heart attack or something, but he's eating lunch when, and so he's like he falls on the ground like at this like at this like country club outside, and all the everyone jumps up and to- and they all go around him and Tony's like someone get that egg salad out of his mouth <laughs> and they're just digging egg salad out of this dying guy's mouth. Ew. It's a great scene. I, I like when uh. Christopher just goes, you fucking whore, to Adriana. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> she must have crawled under there for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Christopher scene might be when, um, and this is how Italian men act when they get caught doing stuff. It's actually very clever, and uh, <laughs> it is manipulative, but it's like, it's not even, it, it's these women are dumb for believing in us. That's my Are point. you Italian? Yeah. I've done this in the past. Oh. To Gabby, a if you're listening, turn it off. <laughs> now, my lady friend, I would never do this now, but I've definitely done this in the past where, like, Christopher was, like, arguing with Adriana, and he's like, I would never try to sleep with your friend. And she's like, you said she had a nice ass. And he's like, I was giving her a compliment because she's your friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's- laughs> and it's like, yo, that's so, that it's exactly what dudes would, like a scumbag dude yeah. would do, Italian, just being like, try, be, not even denying it, just being like, yeah, I did that, but... For a good reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> like one time I was driving with my ex a long time. This is like a long time ago. This is like years ago, ex. And uh, we were driving and straight up <laughs> looked at the... There's a girl walking down the street. <laughs> she was walking towards us like in the car. And I just like turned and looked like at her passing. And my girl was like, are you serious right now? And I was like, babe, I was just trying to see if I knew who she was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she was like, she was facing us. I was like, I didn't get a good look right away. I had to, <laughs> And like somehow got out of it. She was Puerto Rican. No stab wounds. It was insane. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> it's true. That's just how it went down. I was going to say, I would like to think like when I was married and stuff, like Matt and I both said like, just because you're married or just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you go blind. But at the same time, I am, I am super insecure. So if someone looked at me, I wouldn't do that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You don't do it in, f- first of all, did not like my ex when this was happening. So it was, on, it was like on the way out type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Number two. Yeah. I don't, I wouldn't say anyone. Like I would never be with someone I'm dating and be like your friend's hot or anything. Yeah. That, that would be disrespectful. That's a wild maneuver. Yeah, it's now if we're <laughs> it's talking. Like a, <laughs> it's a yeah. wild maneuver. If we're talking like celebrities, though, it's it's like you should be very. Yeah, it's yeah. not real. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, and I uh, believe me, I've dated people who did not understand that. I said Feruza Balk was hot on this podcast once, who? and Feruza exactly the girl from the craft. Okay. The the, the girl I still don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, you see American History X. I know you have. I, I I know references from whatever. American She's History the girl X. in American History X. Oh, okay. It's oddly, you know, not not that it's hotter that she was a Nazi in that movie, but she was a pretty hot <laughs> Nazi. I'll say that. She was Lila. What? 
I'm just breathing over here. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Veruza Balk, super hot, but she's like a. I, I said that on the, my pod, and some chick who I was dating got mad at me. I've said this before on the podcast. But she's what? She's just like a legit celebrity. Did she get yeah. mad because she was a Nazi, or get mad? No, was, not okay. at all. Actually, that I don't think she even got that far into me talking about how <laughs> her being a Nazi is somehow. Like in that movie, she's really hot. I can't explain it. I I don't know what it is. It has nothing to do with her being a Nazi. It's just she she's like trash and it, hot, dude. You know okay, I mean? yeah. There is something like definitely hot about like really trashy girls. Like sometimes. she's all she's got like short hair. Okay, fuck earrings, you guys like, a little bit yeah. because you guys will get on my case Tattoos. about my type in men, but then you'll say shit. like We don't that. date them. We crack them out, and then we <laughs> regret doing it. I regret it every it time. Sounds like you're saying hit them. <laughs> it's not- we smack them in the fucking face. No, I don't. <laughs> Damn sluts. No, um, <laughs> no, dude. I, I'm just attracted to women who are like covered in tattoos and, um. Have you seen the subreddit Trashy Boners? No, what is it's a that? fantastic subreddit. It's just literally, it's a porn subreddit of just like trashy women doing like trashy oh. things. Like it's kind of it's kind of like Festival Sluts, but like a way mm. more like hardcore version what is of that. Festival Sluts. It's another subreddit <laughs> with pictures of. For those of you guys who don't know about Reddit, just porn, hairy armpit pretty, chicks. You know what? No, 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 no. It's it's just like EDM festivals and like music festivals like girls with like body paint on and like mm. tassels on their nipples that are all just like on molly like fucking dancing at raves and unconsensually shit. getting their pictures taken no yeah, no no boy. no that's not what the subreddit's brr, about brr. that's what we like around here 90 percent of them are posing for uh, the picture I'm, I'm fucking around they have very strict content moderation rules on reddit now do they Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say for a while it seemed like they were putting like anything on there. Yeah, yeah. I think that changed it after like the whole like uh twenty sixteen thing. Put your <laughs> prefer- foot down. Your foot is so high it is just Deal with it. Me. I, I stretch. I don't need to go to your I don't you need to go to your socks. lame yoga classes. <laughs> I don't do have right. fucking yoga classes. That's Emily. <laughs> I was referring to all the comics who are doing yoga now and hey, not, not improving any other hey, part of their life. It's fine. I, I will say, I <laughs> will say kidding. that Emily teaches a great yoga class. No, and a lot of fun. I, I just, I listen. I'm not. I'm actually not shitting on Emily's class. I just, I don't want to go there and make all these other comedians feel genuinely bad about how unflexible they are because I'm more flexible you than go. all it's of fun. you. It's fun. I a might. Good time. I don't want to. There's some. I went to the ladies. I'm gonna go this it weekend. Really nice. I'll, I'll go maybe one day. I was told if I was going to do yoga, though, to do it with people you don't know. So, um, it's honestly kind of fun. It, I, I mean, like we, I, it, yeah, I don't want to do it with comedians. Nobody takes out of it that. seriously in in terms of like you know what I mean. You're not like oh man, like you you fucking I want loser. To take it like seriously. no 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 no. I don't want like, comedian. I don't want. We st- take it seriously, you. like the practice of it and the doing it, and like em- Emily's a great teacher and shit like that. We, we, where it's not like serious is in terms of like you know what I mean, like. I'm not feeling like it's like, oh, if I fall and fuck up, I'm not like, you know, like embarrassed about it. Like, you know, it's, I was going to say, just, in a way, I think I'd almost rather do it with buddies than like when I did it with like the yoga tree before I got to know the other women, I felt so nervous because I was like, I'm not like a yoga bitch. Like, I don't know how yeah. to do it. Nah, I'm doing it. And they all showed yeah, up I'm with their fucking Lululemon. Yeah. And I was just like in a band t shirt. I'm like, I don't belong here. Yeah, same. Oh, like, right. Dirty sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs> and a t shirt. Like, I don't do. I don't know. I, it's the same reason I don't go to gyms and shit like that. Like, I'm also not. I'm also technically like seeing. Yeah, you know, I'm seeing someone. So I, I have no. What does that required. have to do with yoga? I'm not because if I ever wanted to go to yoga class, it would be to try to pick up chicks at the yoga class, and that'd be it. That's the goal. It's a men's yoga class. It's <laughs> exactly. I'm, not, I'm, going to, I'm going to unisex one. I'm going to do. I'm going to balance on my fucking head and impress somebody that way. I have no, you know, desire. You think balancing you on balance your head would would get Whatever, a bitch? You know, just, if I can show. If wow! I, look I would, at his strong I would, neck. I would bend certain his ways, body. and I, every position I was in, I would make eye contact and thrust, and whoever <laughs> seems the most down. Ew. Oh my God! <laughs> Do you like the Sopranos, bitch? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would not. No, not for me. You know what is super attractive to me? Like, not someone working out. I could give a shit. But if someone could, someone dance- nodding out. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. You're gonna wake up, Ruth. I swear to goodness. She's oh, your mom. Gracious yeah, I'm gonna wake her up. <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, oh man, that was so rude. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm like, she's a wholesome lady. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Just, <laughs> the door swings open. The best end to this podcast ever. <laughs> oh man. Party's over. What was I saying? Oh, dancing. Can you not make eye contact like that with your nose into it? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no dancing. And not if someone can dance in a sexy way. Again, I don't care. But if you can like fully let loose and it's just goofy, that that does it for me. I could do that. Oh, especially yeah. if I, I don't usually drink. But if we're mm. dancing, pff, give yep. me a fucking oh, few yeah. drinks. Dude, you're done. I'm done. You're See, done. I love I weddings. I fucking do. I feel like you guys would be fun to dance with. Although I will I say I didn't like the there, timing dude. of like I'm like I love dancing. I, was, I can do that. Okay. No, that's right? the thing, dude. I, I put <laughs> I have I have danced and I, I'm convinced. The last time I went out dancing was a while ago, but the last time I went out dancing, I'm convinced the way I was dancing is I went. Yeah, back but are to you trying chicks. to look good when you're dancing? No, I was I don't hammered. Like that. And the shit. <laughs> no, I was hammered, but my motion. Was giving signs to this chick we were hanging out with. My it was mo- like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. didn't like that. My motion. Did you ever, what did she say in the Heat? You ever see the movie The Heat? Mm-mm. She's like, I put all my sexual. <laughs> I keep she's my like, beard put- off the mic. <laughs> Sorry. What did she say? She says, I put out. <laughs> laughing in the mic. <laughs> well, I'm laughing because Mike went to shake and said no. First of all, I'm saying no, and then his beard <laughs> said no. Ew, gross. Wait, everyone, everyone, be quiet. Mike, do it again. Take it away. <laughs> He's like a dog. <laughs> it does sound like a dog panting. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. You're talking your about motion. a quote from the movie The Heat about your motion. Oh, she's like, I put out my. Yeah, she says. <laughs> Talking about your motion. Yeah, I forgot how she says, but she says I put it out there. She goes, I put my intent out through motion, like with sexuality. She's like, I don't have to look hot. I just move, and people know. Honestly, I would say that's that's mm. the vibe. I, stop fucking gro- <laughs> <laughs> I put my motion it is, out, though, like, if you, and bitches know. If you're having fun on the dance floor, dancing by, if you show up with people and they're like, "Let's dance," and obviously you're not gonna like grind with them right off rip. If you're like, you know, trying yeah. to play it cool, but if you just go out there and you start flailing around to the beat, that's what I do. And, and so bang. many guys genuinely come up to me, and I'm like, I'm, I want the, none of this. I'm here to have a good time to beat. by myself. It's I'm always on beat but it's like definitely like those kind of hippie vibes and whatever but i have oh, a so fucking like, blast you're like waving your hands with a fucking hula hoop around them a glow stick in your ass that's a rave baby first of all <laughs> yeah i guess both of you guys breathed in tandem for r slash festival sluts <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i'm headed there later to Reddit. I've never done Reddit. I'm I'm pretty old fashioned when it comes to not even old fashioned. I just Check I know what I like I'm in saying. porn. I know who I like and I go I stick to them. I was trying to get the job done and I say trying. I've never been able to do it. Never. What's a porn? What? Do porn or do it to porn? <laughs> <laughs> no, to well unless I'm with someone. With? What? Are you trying oh, to say orgasm? You. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> women like you man i can with a person but i can't but oh. like by myself i've never oh that's weird yeah yeah and so many people try and they're like light a candle do a bath i'm like what the fuck is that gonna do for I'd me say I, don't give a shit as, about I was gonna say i thought you meant like you don't I, I was say it's it's i'd say it's more weird for you for that way that i thought you were saying you can't have I understand people not being able to come because someone else is fuck. Actually, it makes sense. Like it's like yeah. just the mo- like the way thing. You don't line up exactly. Just things aren't hitting the right way. You but mean when it's with a person? Yeah, for you I to think- not know your own self. That's no, why I don't think it's. I don't. You know date who you date. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that got really deep. <laughs> Full circle. Real talk. I'm like, oh my god. Real talk. Damn sluts. Like that could legitimately be true, and I'm gonna have to listen to this podcast and like show my therapist and be like, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't talked about this. Yeah. Yet. Why don't we have you never like really gone like? How do you not? No, no, no. Okay, here's the thing. I know what I like if someone else is doing it, but I think because I have small hands and like I'm a short person, I can't hit certain angles. And then also, you get a toy. 
Nothing. Okay, I've spent so much money on stuff like that. It's not the fucking same. It's not. And also, I get stuck in my head because I'm like, how long is this going to take? I have laundry in the dryer. What am I doing later? Why is this happening? Like, <laughs> well, not why You're is this You're just happening? too motivated of a person to jerk off. That's fair. Like, I would honestly... I I well, because I'm like, I have shit to do in the day. Like, if, if I'm having sex with someone all day i don't care i'm having a blast if it's just me i'm like i just want to fucking come and get on with my life i don't want to deal with this shit and like so many girls are like make it an experience turn music i'm like what the fuck is that you guys are fucking lame sorry but that's how i feel about it i, I you know i, I got you news know, for you I don't, yeah. that means you're gay <laughs> i don't mind i don't mind music what i've had happen too many times is a girl has music and it's like five songs on a playlist i've had that is your time. point then it's annoying because it repeats? Songs. Yeah, because it repeats. Yeah, dude, I've... That's why... <laughs> it's one down, of them, the dude. locomotion. That, yeah, it's like, <laughs> God damn. Please tell me. <laughs> We've gone through this playlist like 10 times. I, I Here's my thing. That's why y'all are sleeping on fish because they have like 22-minute songs and you just keep it going. And you can't tell the difference sleeping when it changes fish. songs. T- oh, fi- I thought you were talking... These women are like <laughs> fish. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I have very lively sexual partners. They do not lay there like a fucking dead fish. <laughs> it's been a long time since that's happened. The way he said that, I have lively, lively sexual partners. <laughs> Ask you, anyone, they're alive. Anyone- they're alive when they come in, they're alive when they leave. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I have text proving it. <laughs> Geolocation will show that lively. I'm right. <laughs> Great time, thanks. I do, every time I meet a new person... I will like send all my friends my location. Like, hey, oh, I yeah. just got here. Hey, I'm still here. Hey, uh, just in Casey. And I'll like take a picture of their like license plate yeah. too. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. just in case. I've had women do that with me where they're like, can you um like show me your license? And I, I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah. And they just take a picture and they send it to their friends. I'm like, yeah, yep. that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> you remember the time you, I'm you called not me from kill a parking you. lot one time? Remember the time you called me from a parking lot and you're like, there's this guy in the parking lot across the thing and he was like talking to me before and I don't know if he's gonna leave and I just I just in case I die here's where I am oh, because, like, because Mike and I just finished a mic you and I both walked to our cars which are par- parked next to each other Mike you gave me a hug Mike because he, well, he doesn't care if she lives or dies I, it was like no, it was like we were no, literally no, 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 we were, no. our cars were facing each other we give a hug goodbye Mike drives off I'm only there for one minute after you one it's fucking midnight at this point and I hear a knock on my car window. You have no oh, business yeah, doing right. this. And so I like startled. I look and I'm like, because I'm a dumbass, I'm like, maybe I left something in the restaurant. So I like start to lower the window and it's this guy and he's like, Hey, what are you up to? I'm like, What? And he's like, What are you up to? I'm like, do do I know you? And he's like, No, but you could know me. Damn. And I oh was like, God. I was like, Oh my God. And he was like, You smoke cigarettes? I was like, No. And he's like, Was that your boyfriend? And I'm thinking, <laughs> like, who? And I'm thinking, Mike. And so then, because I was scared by myself, <laughs> I was like, Yeah. <laughs> And he was like, well, where'd he go? I was like, I don't know, but I'm sure he'll be back. And I'm he's... Sure <laughs> Dude, I, that is so creepy. That is creepy shit. Yeah. It was and so then, weird. And then he goes, well, what? You're like not allowed to have friends? And he starts oh, to like God, try and lean. Worst. He tries to lean into my car. So it's like fucking midnight. Are you fucking kidding me? And then he wouldn't get the fuck off the car. So then finally I call Mike. I was like, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking annoying, dude. Uh, that sucks. Dude, I, I'm glad I'm a dude. If a chick tried that shit to me, I'd be like, get the fuck away from me, you Get away from me. And I would fear nothing. And I'd be like, if you step near me again, I'm going to fucking kill you. No. And I like, wouldn't same do that thing. <laughs> Sorry. Like, <laughs> just the amount of like people. I don't know why it's like so acceptable just to be creepy as shit. Dudes aren't told they're being creepy. Yeah, but in what world would you think a stranger would be like, oh my God, you know what? Hop in numbers. the car. Numbers. What do you it's mean? A Ego game. and numbers. That's he, what do you mean numbers? He does that. I bet you he does that with any chick. And... Oh, like cast a wide net. Twenty, to- 20 yeah. times out of tw- one out of a hundred times, it works. You know, what I mean, it's literally, it's literally like I'll never, I'll just keep trying to do this, and I'll never alter my own uh, way to talk to women. Ew. Yeah, as someone who's had to alter how they talk to women numerous times, it's uh, like hockey for. Creeps. You know what? Speaking of talking uh, to women or trying to talk to women, we were just talking about this at the mic. Um, when do you guys text women? What do you mean? Like we were just talking about this, like uh, like what is too much or not too much, or like it depends on where the relationship. Yeah, where it's at. going and where it is. Like my my lady friend and I, we don't talk. I talk to her two three times a day, maybe through text, maybe. See, maybe. that's 
Yeah. I used to. And we I, talk on the phone other than that in, in person. I like that. I mm-hmm. used to be much more into texting. I think like when I didn't like actually have a life, I was like, I want to be in contact all the time. Now mm-hmm. I just feel like I have my own fucking life. You have your life. And if it's like, I'm fine if like you send me a song or something a funny. Yeah. yeah. Shit, like yeah. something where I can actually react to it. But when it's just like pointless shit, that's like, we're not actually talking about anything. I just like, what, what, what is this? Yeah. And, <clears throat> and we were already talking about this before the morning text. I used to really like that, but honestly it creeps the shit out of me. I am being a hypocrite because if it was the guy that I actually, like, then I'd be like, yay. But anyone else would <laughs> well, be like, ew. <laughs> that's, I think that's how it works for everything. Like when you, you are with someone you like, and you don't like I don't like good morning texts, but if my lady friend says good morning, I'm happy when she does it. I don't I just don't care for them. You know, what yeah. I mean, I'm just it is, you know, I appreciate I them. But it also it, it sets a precedent for the rest of the day where it's like, oh, we have to talk now. And I guess like I, I don't necessarily need something that, to like way. legitimately say good morning, but it is cool. Like if it becomes too consistent, I think it loses that. Specialness. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, it, that goes the same way. What I. I I, I have numerous friends who are in relationships where they text all day and I go, what do you talk about with your uh, lady friend when you get home? And they're like, dude, it's actually like nothing. We don't really, it's weird because we talk all day. And I go, yeah, because you, you have nothing to talk about because you've talked. And when you get in person, you're like, how was your, oh yeah, I know how your day was because we, I have a, a paragraph explaining what you've been doing I was gonna say hour. when I was younger I used to like text non-stop throughout the whole day and like I don't even think I recognized that when we were in person then we didn't have as much now like I like it better if there's something to actually catch up about and stuff yeah like, yeah absolutely because otherwise I'm just like all right like eh. also because like I'm so hypocritical. I am one of those fucking annoying girls. It's like, no one likes me. And then someone will show up and be like, I like you, Lyle. I'm like, ew, no, not yeah. you. <laughs> Definitely been there. Like, yeah, dude. It's hard. I don't know. I feel like such an absolute dickhead, though. It doesn't make you a dick. It's like, you know, relationships aren't just like binary like and dislike. It's, you know, like every person's got a whole bunch of different things. Yeah. Not, not just know. a person liking you wasn't the only criteria for no i know but like on i can't tell like is it that i'm just not trying hard enough to like i don't know like so many normal healthy things i'm like immediately like whoa that's gross or like i don't i don't know you can't force a feeling though like i get that yes you can i mean you can but it doesn't last Hey, my marriage lasted like almost <laughs> six years. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> it's a no, it's the, I got news for you. <laughs> that means you get. Yeah. Damn, Nay. Lila. I'm just, I'm trying, you guys. I really am. No, I'm not. I'm really not, though. Yeah. Your, your effort speaks for itself. I tried for two months, okay? Two whole so months. So long, dude. It was long. Felt a whole. Uh, that was long for me. What the fuck was that? Was that someone's stomach? <laughs> no, this is the guy just yawned in the mic. Let's wrap it. Let's wrap the time, <laughs> guys. It's been a late one. We've been. What, what time is it? Wednesday now? Is it midnight? That's what happens it when you don't schedule a fucking podcast. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, I'll be scheduling things next week. I'll also be, I think I'm going to New York next week. Hopefully I can do a fucking pod with some of those boys. See what happens. Uh, what do you guys got to plug? Not anything cool? Mike, you go first. I'm not ready. You go first. I'm not ready. Real <laughs> talk. Alex, I'll go singing. first, guys. Uh, well, follow Yes Offense um, podcast on Instagram. I'd really appreciate that. Honestly, out of anything you guys could do for me is just tell people about the podcast and go subscribe to the YouTube uh, Yes Offense podcast. on. Actually, I think it's just Yes Offense on YouTube. Um, and either way, you can find it. If you search Yes Offense, it's like, you know, after a song or two, it's like the third option down. Um, if you could subscribe to that, I'd appreciate that. If you could review and on iTunes or uh, any of those things, just give it a good rating. I'd really appreciate that. I'm just trying to build that shit. Um, Tell your friends about it. Uh, also, follow me at Silly Sally on Instagram. All S's, no spaces, I at the end. And I'm actually 
this month of December, I'm at a lot of places, guys. I'm I'm doing all right. I'm um, me and Mike are actually going up to Worcester December 11th. Ooh. We're doing a show together. Um, cause you know, I, I help out comics and you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm also headlining, I'm headlining that show the 11th. I'm also headlining another show in, che- is that in Cheshire? Is that one in Cheshire? No, Clinton. Oh, the, uh, the show? no, it's in Norwich. Norwich. That's wow. I'm 16th. so sorry, everybody. Um, so these are two of my plugs, so this helps Yeah, too. no doubt. Friday. <laughs> yeah. My, Mike's I'm, on I'm both of these, on actually. Show, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause you know, I hook up, I hook up my bros, um, but no, uh, I've boozer did that by himself. Um, <laughs> bo- uh, I'm headlining again, Worcester, December 11th. I'm also headlining, uh, Norwich, uh, December 16th. And I'm really looking forward to these because, uh, I hope one <laughs> I've headlined before and let me tell you it was a uh, it was rough. Mike was there for that. <laughs> that was insane. Was that the Bloomfield one? No, remember we drove all the way to the fucking it was I no 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 shade at I and Ian, but it was that I and it was a, it was just a it was a rough Dragon one. Wiener. He rules. That was just a yeah. actually I had a great time. It was just it was for a very small amount of people. Um but it is what it is, and I'm just hoping there's more people at these. Uh, please come out, guys. That following Saturday, uh, December 17th, I'm doing a show, my monthly show at Powder Hollow Brewery. Uh, so please come to that, you guys. That's in. That's basically in two weeks from now. <laughs> so to, please come. And um, uh, if that wow, that whole weekend's booked. And the 18th, I'll be at Christopher Martin's. And then um, December 29th through the 31st, I'm um, heading up to New Hampshire with Robbie the Fire Bernstein, you guys. I'm really excited for that. Can't And the Shedcast boys. So that's definitely going to be a podcast um, event for us as well. So we'll probably do a live pod out, not a lot, but a pod from out there in New Hampshire. And uh, looking forward to this, guys. You know, this month is going to be fun. I had to turn down two gigs because of the holidays, but uh, I don't know why people would book me on, try to book me on Christmas Eve. That doesn't seem like anyone would be at that <laughs> Probably show. Probably because they thought you were Jewish, but anyway. Yo. That's racist. No. They probably do. I, you'd be surprised how many people think I'm Jewish. Which, it, it is anti-Semitic that they think I'm Jewish for the reasons they think I'm Jewish. It's never a good... It's never like a... Oh, I just thought you were Jewish. It's like your big ass nose. <laughs> you don't, or oh, you didn't tip as well as or whatever. <laughs> I tip well. Anyway, guys, we're, plug it up. Passing it off to Mike. I got uh. So, well, my two shows this weekend got canceled, which is fantastic. Right? But uh, but wait, Mike is gonna come with me to shanty man plugging shanty man from northampton <laughs> and we're gonna go dance like those wiggly inflatable people it's gonna be a good time at the marigold you guys at the marigold at okay the back marigold. to you mike back to you uh like sally said the 11th i'm gonna be with him up in worcester uh, on the 16th we're both gonna be in norwich and then um i have a i have a little bit of a light december i got a lot coming up in january i had one particular thing to keep in mind Put it on your calendars now. January 20th is our next Comedy Lounge show at Trinity Bar. Uh, we're going to be doing that again at uh, 8 o'clock. Doors open at 7, uh, and that's going to be an awesome show. Got some people coming out from Providence, New York, and Boston. So uh, definitely get your tickets for that. We'll have that up and running soon. Follow me on Instagram at Mike.Massaro. Or, uh, and also follow the Comedy Lounge at uh, the Comedy Lounge CT. Hey, it's my turn. All right, you guys. For my December, kicking it off December 1st, I'm at City Steam Brewery um, with Marty Caproni. Um, 12-6, I'm one of the featured comics in Rhode Island at the Copperfield House. 12-9 and 12-10, I'm going to be doing a weekend once again in Rhode Island at the Comedy Park. Um, 12 11 I'm gonna be at the Boston Comedy Club specifically at modern pastry in Boston um, 12 15 please come out to progression brewery in Northampton that's the show I run by laugh attack productions we have Liz Glazer coming to headline who performs at the cellar she's also been on CBS ABC she's been in the New York Times and a bunch of other shiz so please come check that out uh, 12 17 I'll be at Hawks in Reed with our headliner Mo Musa 
um, who you know and love. And then 1223, I'll be at Craft Brew Underground in Maine. And then I got a full lineup coming for January as well. So please follow me on Instagram at Lila Sparks, L-I-L-A-S-P-A-R-K-S underscore. And yeah, give Laugh Attack Productions a follow as well. All righty. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Follow these dudes. Um, you don't have to go see all of Lila's shows. She's got enough. <laughs> 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 and more to come. Um, the down to down. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And if anyone wants to book um, any of us for a show, please reach out to me and I'll set up in, like anywhere. I'll do a show anywhere. I don't care if it's in your fucking living room. Ditto. <laughs> backyard <laughs> it, whatever we'll do a show anywhere um and uh, if you need a if you want to do a lineup from the podcast let me know and if i'm still talking to those people um they'll be on the show and guys for one cent a day you can sponsor a brown girl my venmo Ugh, it- <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Um, you guys want to subscribe to my only fans <laughs> jesus christ it's just me eating cake you guys it's just me eating cake <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, hey guys. Thanks. I meant mine. Just, oh, mm. he reads books to you. Mm. Lots of hair. That's <laughs> <laughs> hair in the cake. Yeah, that's a weird innuendo. Hair in everything. Wow, that's it's a, late. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. <laughs> See you guys. Hopefully next week with a more uh, with drops and uh, less of just. Uh, Listen, chaos. I thought this was fantastic. No, it was fun. It was definitely it was a good fun. time. Definitely fun. I just want to. I want to be sillier and st- I keep bringing up like relationship shit. You should cut this part out. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> suck one. <laughs> Everyone can die. <laughs> We're all going to die. Nothing's going to get better. Have a good one. Peace.